Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Casante as well, he's going to be able to provide the follow up that you want on that buying too. So, honestly, I like what Heretics are bringing to the table. I think it has a very nice way of playing out the game. It's just going to be a case of how well can you survive against the enemy jungle. Yankos will now know that there's a problem, but it may be too late. They're way too far overextended. Isma waiting. Looking for the twisted advance on a trim. He knows that's the vulnerable target. Not concerned about Flack, and he has the cleanse. Quick and easy first blood. Some clever early pathing for Isma paying off. Yankos to Maokai, and so uh, really only able to get nothing. Still <laughs> here to get the grub. He just, he just, he's just in a 1v1 with the Void Monster, which is respectable, but now is Viro going to push back onto Niski? Knock up there from Doth. Clean flash out from Zviro. Now oh he's going to get the kill! Oh, we knew he was good at control mages, apparently Niski didn't! I mean, this Viro is the only dragon in this lane. Niski looking a little lost for wares in the mid lane as an incredible Azir performance comes through from the mid. Well, it's just, you know your jungler's on that side of the map, so just try and play towards him to make sure you're going to be safe. Yanko's though going to respond by at least getting some deep vision on this top side jungle. Could also, as the announcement goes right. off... Play going to fizzle, relevant. Pretty happy with that as Isma now returns and Relevant about to stack up the Rage. Once all out fades, Relevant could feel very comfortable to step up. Yankos needs to be ready to turn this one back, but Relevant instantly goes for the wall up. Nice interrupt from Yankos to just be unstoppable for a brief moment, but here comes the root. Nope. Manages to backstep. All right, Houdini, how you get into this one? Flash is going to keep him safe, but Isma again now just going to follow up. Meganar damage early on is just disgusting. Vault Breaker not enough. Wonder. Now sees more members coming. Rocket coming up with the Jinx is not going to matter. An excellent turn by SK. Team Heretics looking a little dizzy here in this early game. Yankos just needed to try and get to find some way to link up with Exekick before this fight kicks off. Or it's too easy for Heretics to just fight board and cut them off. But Trippy comes Niski looking for the angle. The skies descend. Empowered Aurelian Soul Ultimate. An excellent way to get things started. And now Exekick just, just to try to clean house. Spyro and Flacken on the backside didn't even get to participate. Beautiful fight for the side of SK. And Exekick's not done yet, baby. He's ghosting in. He's charged up. And Flacken's getting put six feet under. Heretics were completely separated on the place. And immediately start to then threaten the top side. Whereas you have to try and accept just on your terror here as. Um, as heretics, so you got that opportunity to try and play off of Rift Herald, but they're trying to interrupt Push that here. back is a nice setup. Zeri, though, makes it over the wall! Not quite there! Zyro, now trying to turn it back, but he can't get it right into shifting San Diego, doesn't get into the ball breaker! Oh, it's a catastrophe in real time! It's not a hostile takeover! Oh, it's barely even a hostile attempt. SK walk away standing. It, nothing was acquired in that one and irrelevant. Starting to push forward now. He's got Doss with him. Doss, the pushback there. I wonder trying to keep his back line alive. Flacket ticking. Oh. The bailout not needed, but Niski over the wall as well. Herald charge going to oh, come in. Is. Team Heretics, do you just give this one up? I don't think they know Niski is here. Stun now coming in. Huge damage from the early and Soul. Not quite an execute range. Flacket not going to get caught in the middle, but Niski wants to keep going for the push. Oh. Wonder there to body block with the house. Oh, Godzilla from downtown makes it work. The pullback there. Wonder finding Niski off to the side. Surely he comes out on top of the 1v1. Trippy on the way, but Irrelevant ready to drop over the wall at a moment. The pullback good. Oh, Shut relevant. down for Wonder. That's a start. Got to keep the Cassante going. SK realized they've overstepped. They're going to start to back away. Yankos wants to follow up, but he doesn't have the cooldowns necessary to do so. Huge lead for SK. But a big shutdown for one way back in. That is the worry. It's that this is consistently the problem at SK where they are going too far forward and teams are punishing them. And Heretics kind of got a little bit of a way with it because they managed to get at least some gold. They go to Wonder, the shutdown, so not the worst threat. But this could be a problem. Alti looking for the pick onto Irrelevant. The hop not going to take him out to safety. This time around, the pick on a side lane works. Team Heretics now going to try to break this tower down. That's the empowered Jinx, courtesy of the passive. Just up. They've already pulled. The Dragon out of pit. Yankos doesn't have ultimate. It's Spyro doesn't five. have ultimate. This is a bit of a bold call, but SK, it is the 4v5. Isma now going to ult and try to peel back. 4k on the Dragon, not the center of attention. That's the Lightning Crash coming in from Exekick. He's relatively untouched. Hostile Takeover just going to get sidestepped. Exekick just fast enough. Yankos doesn't have an ulti, but the ulti from Flack. It'll take the Drake. Here comes the Dragon. Here comes the Lightning Girl, but Exekick oversteps again. SK, you psychos. They're just barely getting the edge in the exchange. It's a shutdown to the Jinx. They lose the Dragon, but I guess at least they get the kills. They get the kills, and honestly, they might be able to turn over towards the Baron as well if they really want to. Maybe not with Exa Kick alive, but Irrelevant's up and he'll do a good amount of percentage health damage. But they are just going to move down into the bot side instead, get the tier 2 tower in mid and try and get the second one for themselves as well. That though, that was Bedlam. <laughs> that was absolutely. You know, like, let's, 
to it make some better deal. The like art of the deal. Like, give you, you know? 100, and SK are like, what about 110? And you're yeah. like, wait, what? No, that's not that's not how this goes. You're not yeah. supposed to haggle up. <laughs> Doss, trying to bring Trimby down. What about a free pick, he says. Not too free, though, because Doss is now going to be in trouble with the ulti from Niski. The skies descend. Empowered will find the pick. The rocket not going to connect on the DOS crucially, but I don't know if it's enough for SK to start the Baron. Might just buy enough space though for them to play off of mid wave into relevant on the bottom side. You can see he's doing a really good job against Wonder here, getting those extra auto attacks down with the Black Cleaver to shred his armor. Well, it knew that Niski and Isma had, but wasn't sure how many other people. Uh, incredibly clutch. That's that Trimmy still walking forward. A bit bold. The slow coming in from Aurelian Soul is just so impactful. Trimby gonna cleanse himself. That's the Mikhail's taking on board. They're now focusing their resources on Isma, but Doss is gonna look for the turn. Three man, four man. He's hitting everybody with the quickness, but the carries are in no position to fight. Execute tries to ulti, but it's about to expire. He's able to hit Yankos just in time and look at that Zeri damage. But he flashes from Isma. It's an epic betrayal. No! It all turns against him. Black is still standing. Niski needs to be the one to turn this back. Irrelevant now coming in. The Gnar! The clean flashes back! Team Heretics on the edge of their seats, holding on by the tiniest margins, but they're still in this. How in the name of God? He feels differently. Um, and actually, you know, credit to him, he feels like that's his moment, that's his window of opportunity to turn this game in his favor, and it just does not pan out. Dawson for the follow-up on Yankos. Spyro setting up a tower there, Irrelevant does so much damage, but Niski's here to finish the job. Sundisk still stopping any progress, but with that pick, with mid lane down, SK finally feel like they can start this objective. Team Heretics, are they willing to take the 4v5? Does off the wings, doesn't have the ultimate available, can still be a big major threat. Irrelevant, who can he catch? Wonder? Black it. No sums. This is going to be big. The Jinx is everything. Doss trying to catch him on the backside. There's no immediate fall. Execute immediate lightning crash, so the damage is there. And Niski coming in from the side, dive bomb in the back line. Just keeps spitting hot fire, and it's a double kill for Exekick. A massive fight, a triple in the end. SK taking over. It's 30 plus death timers, though, so at least SK should be able to crack open the base. Zyru will be up in the next couple of minutes. We'll have to try and clear out the way, but I don't think SK can go from the end. I think it's just try and crack open the base. Do have a bit of time. Would be bold, of course. Double towers there. How much do SK want to go for? I think they're going for it all. Oh, will this be the moment where they were confident, where they know they made the right play, or will this be the moment where they feel like they threw it all away because Isma's already in the fountain, he's gone! Spyro still living because of the bailout a little bit too long, but Exekick, they just need to hit the Nexus. Three seconds on Flack, and they've done it! SK taking game one in confidence. It was a close call at the end, but they managed to pick up game one, finding the fight that they needed, separating Spyro off that top lane turret. Team Heretics, but... Zyra Khan, obviously classic bot lane, a lot of playmaking here, the, Zijuan, the Sejuani. You also have this nice, you know, the Talia setups as well, so some good tools for SK Gaming to be really proactive early on. But for SK, it's like a small little bit of opportunity given over to Heretics, but you're still relatively fine with this. Isma? Okay, okay Smite not was... quite precise there. Isma gonna find the stun up on to Yankos. Exekick now coming in. How many more cooldowns are left? Trimby, Flackhead, Yankos all caught in the pit. Magical Journey can take him out to safety, but Exekick is clean! On the feather pullback, Flacken running for his life as Doss tries to find the continuation of the play, but no, Viro is here, and down goes Niski. And all that good play is just wiped away. SK, there was no need for that. Isma, the, what, Swiffer already kind of called was the 2-0 character growth for them. Yeah, I mean, calling your shots, certainly respectable. But you said it for Team Heretics, right? I mean, the most tumultuous offseason we've seen in a long time. Heard it from the staffs themselves, right? They made one roster swap immediately. That was Trimby. Things were still rough. Then they brought in Spyro. All of this happening was less than a week or about a week worth of scrims before the season started. And it worked out well. Again, first in regular season, or fighting for first, excuse me, in regular season. 6-3 at the end of the day, much better score overall. But if they fall out 7th, 8th again, nobody cares. Flacken, though, trying to find a punish on the bot side with the support of Yankos. Irrelevant, very powerful, however. They're not even going to get his flash, just the ultimate. In the meantime, Isma has taken the Herald. Remember, they have six grub stacks, so this could be quite devastating as now SK fishing for the play. In the meantime, Wonder going to be in trouble here. Is he going to get a chance to ult? Will at least be able to tunnel out to safety. Doss's health bar blinking. Spyro TP force, and SK just continue to build these small advantages. And now, because Azir is topside, it's an easy collapse on mid, but Trippy oh, is us. there. Not quite in time. Will delay the tower getting pushed out, but doesn't deny the charge. TP, TP. behind, though. That's going to be the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai, Niski now trying to escape. Isma 
Likely to just get sacrificed here, but SK wants to fall. Flip back onto two is big. Dots immediately punishes. Rek'Sai stunned forever. Cannot even ult. Exa kick. Sees the blood in the water. Blood in his eyes. He's just stepping up and Trimby has to run. Flackid on the retreat, and again, SK find the play. Flash forward from Niski, flash out from Flackid. Team Heretics get nothing. A shift boss could come through for SK as well with the relevant already shoving in. He's just going to try and TP and had to go topside to catch that massive wave that Niski just shoved in. So Dragon going to be secured here by SK. Heretics could look for a late fight or maybe a pick on Niski. Alti is good from Trimby. Immediate knockup should come out. No way to get out of this one. Niski a dead man standing. Dragon traded for the pick. Nice bit of proactivity from Team Heretics. They want to shift this into the mid lane push, but they only have that single cannon minion, so there's nothing they can have, they can get. Showing on top wave. Looks like they're just going to give it instead for the tower. But I think you could play for pick with Trimby as you try to retake yeah. vision here as SK. Well, they're going to know now as they stay the indicator. The multiple members were committed to the objective. Tempered Fate goes wide, and Doss now wants to re-engage. Flashback from Wonder to kick things off. Bit of a slow fight, both sides walking away, but Azir keeping the pressure up. Niski now alting to cover on the top side of the map. Pyro can just retreat. Niski is isolated to the side and doesn't have any mobility tools. Rather than collapsing on the rest of SK, they're really focusing a lot of resources. Doss sees what he thinks is a window of opportunity, but the route's gonna be there. The follow-up from Team Heretics, however, is not. Wonder continuing to step up. They've got full access to the Baron, but they don't have mid prior. Uh, it's time to realize that with everything gone, maybe they can look for the turn here as Viru. But now it's Who Wonder who's isolated off to the side. Flip back on from Niski. A bit more renewed room for Team Heretics to step up if they want. Instead, they're just going to bet it all on a 50-50. Stun on Axe. It's Bingo. They're going to try to burst him down. Feathers fly. Flackett looking for the sidestep. It's all Viro. on the hands. Viro with the three-man pullback. Hand delivered to his AD carry. In goes Wonder. And in the blink of an eye, the rookie mid laner carries all these former champions through the fight. Viro swoops into the back line and shove Exa Kick into the waiting hands of Heretics. Heretics knew they had the... Two, they shouldn't be in a good spot. Doss doesn't realize he's on a ward, though. Try to see if he can sneak in behind the back of Heretics, but they can just take the fight onto the Tier 2 bot if they want to. And again, this is where the Zeri gets really terrifying. We talk about it so much. Point and click CC. That's why we see so many buys, so many Nautiluses. The engage, the setup is there. Spyro just glides out to safety, not gonna be a big deal. Meanwhile, Zeri, execute, or sorry, not execute, Flacken on the bottom side, just pushing in, breaking down that tower. Niski gonna be forced to respond. Irrelevant. I think let down a little bit by his team and some of these greater decisions. Individually has been putting work in, breaking down this tower in isolation, but Wonder, He's dead. on the back of that play, with all the gold he got, is now able to do enough damage in the 1v1 to help Flacken pick up that kill. Does slow down the Baron, crucially. Does limit the amount of waves. The Team Heretics have to play on while they have this buff. But the gold, now 2k in Team Heretics' favor. This is a fantastic spot for them to be. Yeah, they won't be able to get any, well, maybe get one wave onto this top side turn if they really want to, or even onto mid lane. But I'm curious how much pressure they want to try and put down. You do have ultimates that you could use to zone SK off. And Spyro! Pushback is good. Niski unraveled Earth. Nice knockback to make sure Spyro's stunned up. Doss immediately there to follow. Spyro needs to back away. He needs to get out to safety. Trimby gonna try to peel as best he can with the bard. Spyro's still living. Crucially, Cat's coming in. Not quite gonna connect on this because he ults out to safety. All of Team Heretics banding together to make sure their mid laner does not get picked off. So Ira's TP to come back into it. Wonders managed to take the top tier too. Is now gonna start putting pressure here to zone SK off. That kind of minion doing work onto this. Heretics looking to siege down SK and force them back, force them into that game three. Chances are this is the one that closes out the game. They can crack open the base and exit kick. It's alone in mid lane. Heretics want to try and zone him away from this dragon. Got some teammates to cover. Keep your eyes on the temper fade from Trimby. Niski, no flash. There's an opportunity to pick him off. Feathers fly already, and immediately they go on Exa kick. Easy pick off Trimby with the fall. If they can take the jungler out of the equation. Q timing is good from Trimby. And Isma will get knocked back. Ways being cleared by Niski. The second he sees that pick goes down, he knows all that matters is slowing down the push, buying time for the respawns to come through. Dosh dashing out. Wonder not going to commit for the flash knockup quite yet. But he does have access to it if he needs to. Spyro stepping up. Trimby not going to find the binding. But all of Team Heretics doing what they can to protect this wave to push it to break open the base. Two members down. 19 seconds. 18 and counting on Exekick. The only chance they have in the fight if they can have their AD carry back up and alive. But Team Heretics know what they came for. One inhibitor getting knocked down. Meanwhile, three other members in the mid lane breaking down that tower. A second inhibitor likely to follow. 
flash on both Wunner and Yanko, so SK can't even approach because they could immediately get turned on. Niski taking so the Baron. Heretics should be able to deal with it. They're gonna try and pick Flacket. There's the TP. Flacket dashing over the wall. TP now coming in. Doss on the chase. Dash to irrelevant. Dash again. W forward. He's been caught with a tempered fate. Buys a second for Flacket, and it's all he needs. Immediate ulti. Now turning the fight back on irrelevant. The crocodile getting cut down as Wonder is on a killing spree. Trimming on the chase. A magical journey now forward. Feathers fly for Mexico, but Yanko's just standing behind, ready to knock him back into the waiting arms of Zyros. Actually get flashing out to safety. It's all eyes on this area, but Flacket is already here. Lightning in his veins. Kills left and right, Niski. The last hope for SK, but Talia is not enough. Isma as well, just trying to clear this one out. But the push in the base is there. As if the fight before wasn't enough. Why don't we just pan over and see the MVP of this game at work, Spyro in the Baron pit. Spyro in the base. He keeps Team Heretics alive. When heretics were down, when it looked like they were nearly out, it's the rookie mid laner that makes... Taking the Cassante gives the opportunity to have someone who can tank up a lot of that initial damage, and also then gives you the opportunity to have someone who can take the space that you need. Tricky. Of course, there's always going to be a certain degree of execution, but we've, what we've seen is the teams who lower the burden of execution are generally more favored. Dash back from X-Kick. Push forward from Zyro. Does he want to trade? Flash is here. He already gets X-Kick. That's going to be first blood. The Lucian put behind. The gold lead disappearing in the blink of an eye. Yes, Niski gets prio mid, but Team Harris is a kill. Going to cross over to the Azir, which is great. Blast one now pick up for him. Good control over the mid lane. SK will be able to get the dragon for themselves. Up there, he's not in this game. I don't really know what <laughs> how Jinx has character development in the context of the game. Like, maybe the voices have less influence, more influence. Who knows? But on the top side. Irrelevant trying to survive here on a bit of an over-aggressive dive. The healing is there, but it's not enough. Wonder grabs that kill. Fantastic punish for Team Heretics. Trying to move, make his way in here. Heretics have great position. They only burned Flacket's ultimate, so can still turn and burn onto Isma if they want to. Has to be careful, though. Early package is so impactful, and in goes Niski. He wants to make the play, but Spyro's already dashed out to safety. Double root onto Flacket and Trimby, but there's no follow-up damage. Yanko's now in trouble. Actually trying to dash away, but the boar's got him locked down. The cleanse is good, though. Lucian on the edge, trying to escape. Isma on the way in. It's one kill back for Exekick, but now the TP coming in. Flack has already got the reset. He's looking to take down Isma as well. Yes, Exekick might walk away, but SK have lost the fight. Irrelevant will get some plates on top side, but Heretics get the gold they need. They get the control around Dragon. And SK over. To blind rocket the brush. Not sure if the control ward was there at the time, so might have seen a bit more. But Niski now, no package, still sitting on the opposite side of the wall. Team Heretics weren't able to grab the Drake before, are looking to grab it now. Relevant has TP top, but Heretics just going to zone off as a result. And honestly, big wins for Heretics. If you can stop these dragons from being stacked by SK, you don't have to try and fight early. But hoping that the Renekton can make the difference here. Demolish proc, five stacks on the grubs. Will grab this tower, first tower of the game. Try and CC down Flacket, and then set up for Colleen and plays and get control over Midwave to then open up the map. Maybe even play in towards the enemy jungle. Not really an option. Yeah, side. Niski might need to burn it early though, as Heretic's already in position for, for this bot side tower. Uh, Execute could have gone for the reset, so Heretic's... Really be here in time and they'll see TPs though to ensure that it hits the tower and gets the damage done. It'll of course. get us, it'll take tower, it's good. Yeah. And he's gonna TP actually. Just to back up, are they hoping to get the double push here? I don't know if Package beats a death cap. Perfect placement, maybe, as Exekick starts to get a little bit of poke down, but it's on to Wonder. It's the poke that needs to beat the death cap. Try and shoot it off his head, because if you can land this damage, it becomes very hard to stick oh, around. Man. Decent damage on now on Spyro, but Niski right into the back line. They just light him up. Air traffic control, not pleased about that one. Exekick now dashing, he's desperate to try to take this playback, but Wonder is damn strong, unstoppable forward. SK are crumbling under the pressure. Irrelevant was not there at the start of the play, and he's gonna get deleted on the back half of it. It's an easy Baron call for Team Heretics if they want it. But for now, they'll settle for the mid lane tier one. It's Baron. Heretics are gonna get Baron. There's just nothing. I don't know what happened to SK there. Niski, you have- You got 4k gold lead. Another Drake gonna go over. This is. The stacking was already delayed because of the previous Drake play. It's only further behind, which you would have, you know, hoped for with an Ocean Soul. And now, Terrors are falling. Baron Buff is going to be massive. They're going to try and fight this. Isma fishing for the pick. Coling not going to do much of anything. Stun on the X kick. Immediate cleanse out. Team Heretics just absorb the engage and walk away. This is the power of their composition now that they're out of the early mid game. And Wonder is still in the mid wave. 
Four versus five, they're happy to absorb and push back. Now you don't have the range to really fight against heretics and they're happy to push on in. Wonder gonna get mid, or at least mid lane terror started as irrelevant will move in to support them. But now heretics get to push in boss, can rotate to wonder if they want to, but the, the burn creep, creeps are doing enough. Yeah, wonder happy to just uh, usher that wave in. Does take out the cannon minion, so maybe, nope, does go down for his on. Wonder's already pushing mid. You know when the pressure's on? Like four out of five members of this team have won a championship in LEC. When the stakes are high, these guys do not mess around. Like they are not risking anything. Yanko's walking up, he gets the tower. The Coling now comes out. Wonder on the flank. Isma now getting poked away out, but Team Heretics just need to back off. Should just settle for the tier two. Maybe I cash a curse them. Maybe they do get over eager. But this is the kind of discipline that you want to see from a team full of so many veterans. But what shocked me was when we look back to yeah, that. Just to make sure that you can, can still contend with the tanky stats on the side of Team Heretics. Team Heretics looking to establish control on the bot side. SK Jungle taking away the red buff as Wonder does not take damage, Zexa. but does continue to step forward. Just looking to solo bolo the enemy AD carry, dashing back into the safety of his team. His second kick is picked off. And that might be the final nail on the cop, and that might be the death now. SK about to be freed from this mortal coil, freed from the spring split. Team Heretics. Finished top eight in the last split. They made controversial changes, but on the back of Spyro in game two, an incredible team play in game three. They are set to move on to the next stage. Niski trying to do something, but he's too far behind. And today, today belongs to Team Heretics. An incredible performance from Team Heretics and a great performance from that man on your screen. Spyro was an absolute monster on the Azir.